all right hello everybody um well we're going to talk a little bit about using a bait caster um to me one of the simplest things that i've ever done as far as teaching anybody or learning myself to use a bait caster is believe it or not the bait i usually tie on for everybody is this simple spinner bait um why do i do that it's just easy to throw it's fun to throw and you never know you might catch a fish too um best thing to do is just take a regular bait caster i prefer to tell everybody to put 20 pound test on it's a bigger diameter line so honestly it's a little bit um, easier to pick out the knots if you do get one um, so we'll just start from there okay um, what you want to do is when you first push on that little button right there you got to know that that's a free spool that means that line's going to come right down as fast as it can okay this little knob on the side right here is your key uh, if you tighten i'll show you if you tighten or loosen that little knob it depends on how fast that's going to move now there's a lot more buttons to it than that but best thing to do is just tighten it up so that it doesn't move a lot and then cast and then little by little loosen that knot up little by little but i'm going to tell you something there's nothing that substitutes just straight out fishing okay just straight out casting it out because that thumb right there is what controls stopping your bait that's what you need to do see as you cast it out you're going to push that thumb down okay and then as you throw the bait that thumb is what stops and slows your line that's why a lot of times why you have a backlash is because you uh your line is going faster than what your real speed is so that's what messes it all up if you got about 20 pound line if you do have a backlash you can usually pick it out um one of the best things i can tell you too is don't go out and buy the most expensive lines um you know what while you're still using the bait caster what a lot of people tend to do is they're going to go out and they're going to they're going to get the most expensive line they got because that's the guy on youtube said and that's the one line that's the best well while you're still learning on a uh, bait caster don't do that just go get a simple spool line that may be about 10 15 dollars get you a couple spinner baits you know pick it up throw it for a little bit if it gives you a headache set it back down um you get to a spot where the water's kind of muddy and dingy pick it up throw it for a little bit you know the, the worst thing you can do is make yourself miserable uh, fishing's supposed to be fun supposed to be relaxing so we want to learn how to use the bait caster but at the same time we don't get ourselves all aggravated and then if you're out here and you're just casting and you're throwing that spinner bait then you never know i mean you may you may go out and you may catch you one springtime is probably one of the best times of the year to throw a spinner bait because most of the fish are up shallow most of the fish it's real hard to get a crankbait up where that water is real shallow it's uh it's real hard to uh control your crankbait you don't really have to worry usually about your spinnerbait hanging up on a lot of trees and a lot of things unless you cast directly into them of course but for the most part you really don't have to worry about getting hung up it can bounce around on things and bounce and you know and come back to you and you'll be fine And little by little you loosen that up to where you get a little more free spool the better you get with that thumb right there reaching that we'll make another cast to kind of show you i kind of do it slow okay so we're going to bring it back throw it and we're going to stop it right before it hits the water the better you get with that right there the less likely you're going to have to have a backlash where you move, usually most people mess up is you try to cast all the way across the lake 
and the wind catches it and then you have a mess on your hands because you didn't move your thumb back fast enough that's usually what most of us mess up and trust me you're not the only one you won't be the first one to backlash you won't be the last one to make a backlash it's something that we're all going to be successful to you know and what everybody wants to do too is everybody wants to take a bait caster and start doing all these fancy casts when they're with their buddy in the boat and then they get hung up constantly because they're like i don't understand well what you need to do is start practicing that now so we went we've done an overhead throw so there's nothing in front of us but let's just see how far you know how low to the water we can cast so let's cast a little bit different ways let's try some of those other ways of casting while we're out here just to see just to see if we can do it There's one right there. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Pretty little fish. God bless you all. Um, that's just my little version of how to use a uh, bait caster. I learned myself years ago on a spinner bait. Of course, we didn't have a lot of baits to choose from back then. But I just figured it might help somebody that's interested in trying to use a bait caster. To me, that's just about the simplest way to learn how to use it. Is to just get you a cheap spool of line something like maybe 20 pound big game monofilament big 600 rods yard spool and just uh put the line on your reel tie you on a three eighths or half ounce spinner bait adjust that little knob right there on the side like i was telling you and just go to the lake go to your backyard and go try it you never know a lot of times things that frustrate us i see people all the time buy one they put it down they're done with it most of the time it's because they're trying to hurry too much and guys i've been throwing bait caster for i'm gonna say close to 35 years i still get backlashes so don't get frustrated when you get a backlash just little by little try it 
never know you might be blessed to catch one of the biggest fish you ever caught and all you did was just go on a rainy day and throw a spinnerbait around anyway god bless y'all don't forget more than anything jesus loves you y'all have a great day